Hi, Timmy. You having a nice laugh, are you? I mean, it's Christmas. It's Christmas morning. Hey! I love the way it makes me feel inside. What's up, everyone? Adam from FWCI. This is Bruce Jew. Tommy's house. Tommy, 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 Tommy,
Chapin Solo. God damn it, I knew it. Tommy, what is the matter with you? You're like the little boy that cried by grandma's death. So we start heading to Tommy's bedroom, and all of a sudden, Tommy's grandma has the audacity to take my sweet Dwayne the Rock Whoa. Johnson hat right off the top of my head. Hey, what the hell? Tommy, you better get your grandma under control before I tip her ass out of the wheelchair. We don't like hats in this house. You can get it when you leave. I don't know where you came from and who your parents are, so there's no hats in this house. And if you gotta take a piss, there's a tree in the backyard you can use. So I have to cut my losses and let Tommy's weird-ass grandma have my hat for the time being. And we go in his room and play- What the fuck? That is weird shit, man. That is very, very odd behavior for any adult to exhibit. Tommy, you- How you going these days, Tommy? You good? Play some goddamn Grand Theft Auto 3. But there's one big problem that's stopping us. The goddamn game disc is all scratched up, and we can't get the thing to work. Jesus, Tommy, where'd you find this game? Oh Out in the street? <laughs> my sister's boyfriend gave it to me. What, after he was done wiping his ass with it? This thing is all jacked up. It's got more scratches in it than a fucking lottery ticket. How the hell are we gonna get this thing to work? I heard if you put toothpaste on the disc, it helps get rid of the scratches. <laughs> Michael, we're not putting toothpaste on the disc. Don't be ridiculous. Was the game got fucking gingivitis? Hey, I'm just trying to be constructive. All I want to do is run over some hookers with a goddamn ice cream truck so there we were squeezing out toothpaste on this goddamn grand i'm not gonna lie i have i don't know if it works or not but i do remember hearing some kind of like hack to repair a scratch disc and it was a case of like just repairing the damage the the disc still held all of the data so but i, I don't know if it's true enough I, I definitely wouldn't be putting colgate on a scratched dvd or playstation 2 disc as it were theft auto 3 game disc hoping that it just might work we put the game back in the playstation and you wouldn't believe me if i told you but somehow michael's bullshit toothpaste method totally did not work at all are you yes. fucking kidding me we squirted like a half tube of colgate on the damn thing not only did the game not work but we probably fucked up tommy's playstation 2 while we were at it yep <laughs> <laughs> making some weird noises so there was no grand theft auto 3 that day which meant there was no running over hookers with an ice cream truck ah oh, darn it me and michael were so mad we just left tommy's house yeah. And it wasn't until I got home that I realized, oh, damn it, I left my sweet Dwayne the Rock Johnson hat with Tommy's weird-ass grandma. No. And after that day, I didn't see Tommy for weeks. Finally, like a month goes by, and I go back to Tommy's house. Hey, I need my sweet Dwayne the Rock Johnson hat back. Where's your weird-ass grandma at? <laughs> Dude, my grandma died. God damn it, Tommy, I'm not doing this. Your grandma's not dead. She doesn't die. She's like the Terminator of all grandmas. Oh, shit, she really is dead this time, isn't she? Uh, whoops. Oops. Okay. Bruce. So what? She just clutched onto your Dwayne the Rock Johnson hat for her dying days? Yeah, ugh, I wouldn't even want it back at that point. Now, I didn't have any friends that were that weird, but I had friends whose parents had, like, shades of what Tommy's mum was like throughout this video. My parents were usually pretty cool. They were a little bit strict, but they weren't anything like that. But when I was growing up, my best friend, Sam, he had a tennis court, and a swimming pool, and a ping pong table, and a basketball hoop, and over his back fence was a gigantic empty field. It was like a cricket pitch, like a huge massive thing. There was a playground down the end, like the stuff that he had at his house like to do was just, there was always, he had a, a Sega Mega Drive with The Lion King and NBA Live 95. So I was pretty fortunate. I had a very good friend who lived pretty close by and was always up for playing some kind of sport. I've mentioned him on the channel before. He ended up playing in the AFL for the West Coast Eagles and winning a AFL Premiership. So all those years of playing every sport under the sun clearly paid off for the man. When Grand Theft Auto 3 came onto console, I mean, that was huge. Like, every kid, I guess, around our age was dying to, like, have a crack, and not everybody had a PlayStation 2. So there was a time there in the late 90s where if you had a PlayStation 2, you had friends, <laughs> pretty much. I was a Nintendo 64 kind of kid, but that worked fine with me because I was really into the wrestling games. The N64 had four controllers, and there were a few times in my life where we had like four of us all together, having a big sleepover, playing WWF WrestleMania 2000 or No Mercy until like four o'clock in the morning, Good times. But let me know in the comments what you thought about this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. We try to get to 25,000 subscribers. Patreon.com slash FWCI. Patreon.com slash Bruce Jew. And as always, everyone, be well, stay safe, look after your friends. Ta-ta and farewell.